So, good afternoon everyone. My name is Rika May Parha and I am the first reporter of the Group 4. So, our topic is the Open Court Reading Curriculum. So, let us know what is the Open Court Reading Curriculum. So, here are the contents of our report. First is the overview. Second is about the topic. Third is the features of the topic. And the fourth is the instructional materials. So first, let us tackle what is the topic all about. So what is open court reading? So open court reading or the OCR is a phonic based kinder to grade 3 curriculum. So it includes age appropriate materials for students, training and pedagogy for teachers, and workshops for professional development of teachers. So open court reading program is designed to teach decoding, comprehension, inquiry, and writing in three part progression. So the OCR or the open court reading program includes three components. So first is the foundational skills. Second is the reading and responding. Third is the language arts. So these three components are the foundational skills, activities. So these activities is depending on the grade level. Uh, build skills and phonemic awareness, sounds and letters, phonics, fluency, and word knowledge. The reading and responding is focuses on instruction, on building background, the thinking about text prior to reading developing vocabulary, uh, reading from the student's ontology, and emphasizing reading for understanding true complex text. Last is the language arts. So the language arts section emphasizes the writing process, which are the spelling, grammar usage, and mechanics, additional vocabulary, penmanship, and listening, speaking, and viewing. Who is the founder of Open Court Reading? Who published Open Court Reading? So the series is published by McGraw Hill Education. So there is both praise and criticism of the program among educators. Proponents of Open Court Reading believe that it's focused on phonics and reading comprehension strategy use, both taught with very explicit instruction, benefit children. So about the publisher, uh, McGraw Hill Education traces its history back to 1988 when James H. McGraw, the co-founder of the company, purchased the American Journal of Railway Appliances. He continued to add further publications, eventually establishing the McGraw Publishing Company in, 19, in 1899. So his co-founder, John A. Hill, had also produced several technical and trade publications and in 1902 uh, formed his own business, which is the Hill Publishing Company. So in 1909, both men agreed upon an alliance and combined the book departments of their publishing companies into the McGraw Hill Book Company. John A. Hill served as the president with James McGraw as vice president in 1917, so the merger of the remaining parts of each business into the McGraw Hill Publishing Company, in Incorporated. So for 50 years of success, one powerful curriculum was discovered and it is a lifetime of literacy. So with a legacy of success spanning over 50 years, open court reading is backed by research into how students learn to read, um, yet the program continues to evolve to meet the rigorous and changing demands of today's classrooms, as well as the ever-changing needs of students and teachers alike. So with the success of stories across the country, open court reading has touched thousands of students across all levels of literacy 
to build strong readers, writers, and thinkers. Thinkers. So basically, this curriculum is um, developed through research based. So uh, in research fuel growth, the initial research in early reading reveal, reveals that explicit phonics instruction is crucial for proficiency among emerging readers. So this critical uh, information moved open court reading authors to make phonics a cornerstone of the, of the program with sound spelling cards which is first developed by open court reading and in an industry breakthrough so explicit instruction um, explicit instruction means instruction uh, or the systematic instruction or the sometimes called simply referred to as as explicit instruction so it means that it involves teaching a specific concept or a procedure in a highly structured and uh, carefully sequenced manner so for the ongoing research additionally open court reading authors develop decodable books so to help students apply and reinforce encoding and decoding skills so they continue to research in vocabulary and comprehension to introduce the need for advanced reading selections to support vocabulary development and critical comprehension next is an eyes to the future so today open court reading continues to evolve responding to new technologies valuable teacher feedback and relevant research findings so it continues to achieve documented success in schools and districts across the country aligning with changing uh, classroom demographics to ensure the equity across the social economic spectrum and proactive inclusion for students at all levels of learning. From the company you trust to create success and memorable learning experiences in your classroom and the effective approach to reading that you and your students love. With more than 50 years of proven efficacy comes a grade K through 3 supplemental program that builds the foundation for lifelong literacy success. The Open Court Legacy continues with Open Court Reading Foundational Skills Kits. This easy to use program adds a skills emphasis to any reading language arts curriculum. Phonemic awareness, phonics, word analysis, Use foundational skills kits to build all the skills children need for literacy development. The foundational skills kits are built upon the proven platform of open court reading, which in turn is built upon systematic, explicit instruction. Everything fits together. Show your students how individual sounds, or phonemes, combine to produce spoken words, how sounds are connected to written symbols or letters. R which allows children to decode, or read, and encode, or spell, most of the words in the English language. Students are well prepared for their next crucial tasks, reading fluently and comprehending what they read. Support learning with classroom routines and a systematic, explicit instructional plan. Practice new skills alongside previously learned skills to spiral learning. Reinforce core concepts and skills at every level. Skills and concepts are sequenced to ensure mastery as students move on towards their goal of reading to learn. We give teachers the strong support they need to give students the literacy skills to build the futures they dream of. Choose Open Court Reading Foundational Skills Kits from McGraw-Hill Education. Hello, good afternoon everyone. And I am the next reporter to report and my topic is the component of open court reading and the components of open court reading has four components the comprehensive curriculum the foundation skill kits the word analysis kit and the lang english language development kit so let's start with the first component the comprehensive curriculum so Comprehensive curriculum is a written plan that guides that guides the design of children's goals for learning and development. 
the experienced children will have to achieve those goals and the way in which adults will support children's learning to, to achieve school success. So the content of comprehensive curriculum focuses, focuses on all domains of learning, the social, emotional, the physical, the cognitive, and the communication. So the goal of open court reading is for all students to be confident readers by grade 3 as well as strategic readers and thinkers so as you can see in the powerpoint the building strategies readers and the strategic thinkers inquiry forms the heart of the program as they apply what they have learned in the unit to find out more about a topic that interests them so next is the reading strategies aligned with the inquiry process in each unit as students use the content as the basis for research. Next is a focus on skill building gives the tools they need to be successful at any inquiry task. And the unit inquiry activities require students to research and explore using a variety of media to build deep knowledge about a topic of their choice. So the goal the goal of open court reading help the student seeks the connection between what they learn to what happens in their daily lives. Recognizing the learning is developmental, establish clear goals and objectives for student learning, and provide for student learning and opportunities student to learn through experience. The next is the foundational skill kits. So, the foundational skill kits are critical as they lay the groundwork for academic and overall future success. So, foundation skills provide research-based instruction and classroom-tested tools to help every student master the essential, essential skills. So, as you can see in the PowerPoint, the lying strong foundation for strong readers is for the kindergarten prepares the foundation for reading with phonemic awareness. So, phonemic Phonemic awareness is the smallest, the smallest mental units of sound that help to differentiate units of meaning. Like for example, if the child says pen, when the child says pen, if, this, if the student can segment the word, they can spell the word. If they can blend those sounds, they can read the word. So phonemic awareness concepts of print and alphabetic principle. So second is for grade 1 builds upon this foundation with sound spelling correspondence and spelling strategy de development. So next is for the grades 2 and 3, reinforce and expand upon fluency, the coding and encoding skills for automatic recognition. So fluency is the ability to read with speed, accuracy, and proper expression in order to understand what they read children must be able to read fluently whether they are reading aloud reading aloud or silently so decoding is a key skillful for, le for learning to read that involves taking apart the sounds in words and blending sounds together like for example and when the letter letter c is followed by the vowels e i or y it usually it usually makes it soft sound like for example in a vowel e the word that kanang naasa vowel e kay like for example cell ang i kay ct next is encoding encoding is the process of hearing a sound and being able to represent the sound for example a child hears the sound t and they will write the letter t this means they are able to encode this sound. So next is the word analysis kit. So the word analysis kit is develop critical reading skills that enable students to approach new words and more ex complex texts with ease. Like in the on PowerPoint, the lifetime skills for reading success is to learn about morphemes. The morphemes is the smallest units of meaning and how they are used to identify new words and build vocabulary. So, 
Next is focus on prefixes, suffixes, and base words individually and in context. So, prefix is the letters which we add to the beginning of a word to make a new word with a different meaning. Like, for example, the superstar, superwoman. Next is suffix. Suffix is a letter or group of letters placed at the end of a word to create a new word. Like, for example, a word painful, fearful, illness, closeness, lowly, and sadly. Next is read a variety of passages at progressive levels, levels for practice in reading independently. Next is focus on vocabulary and influency. The next slide is English language development kit development kit so English language development kit helps students learn the basic vocabulary needed needed to participate in class as well as in social conversations like as you can see in the Quran PowerPoint the English language development kit has an instruction in the English language development kit includes four levels of proficiency the beginning early intermediate early advanced and the intermediate so let's start with the beginning so beginning is the students are learning to comprehend and produce one or two word responses with concrete and immediate topics children struggle to understand simple conversation and simple discussion even when the topics are familiar and the speaker uses linguistic support such as visuals, lower speech, and other verbal cues and gestures. Early intermediate students have acquired a basic command of English and are moving to phrases and simple sentences using concrete and immediate topics. So, early intermediate students performing at this level of English language proficiency continue to develop receptive and productive English skills. They are able to identify and understand more complete details during unmodified instruction. So next, intermediate. So intermediate, intermediate students have good comprehension of overall meaning and learn to respond in expand, expanded sentences, interact more independently with a variety of texts and use newly acquired English vocabulary to commu communicate ideas early and in writing so intermediate this means that you can speak and un understand english for matters well re related to your daily routine you can also be much more descriptive about your life experiences next is the last is the early advance students demonstrate comprehensions of meaning including implied and nuance meaning and are learning the use of idiomatic and figurative language so at the, at this level you can understand the vast majority of english spoken or written that you encounter though you make rare errors your proficiency is near or equal to that of a native english speakers you can understand that tone pacing and word choice even in complex text or situations so the next is the material use of open court reading. So open court reading is systematic explicit instruction. This easy to use kits are carefully crafted to enable your student to decode and encode written language skills that become their basis for not only reading and writing fluency but reading comprehension as well. So Systematic explicit instruction, carefully, carefully designed instructional sequence, and built-in scaffolding. It, it is explicit in that explanations are direct and clearly modeled, and students know exactly what they are learning. Next is instructional design. It's clearly linked across five major areas of reading instruction, the phonemic awareness, the phonics, the fluency, the vocabulary, and the comprehension. Open court reading begins with print and book awareness along with the alphabetic principle and systematic introduction of sounds and letters. And also, their instructional emphasis is help build students' abilities 
through a logical progression of skills. The instructional emphasis chart shows what we teach and then we teach it within with with and and among grade levels skills are thought and reinforced within a, within a spiraling curriculum so ang open court reading ilang material sa sinyang gigamit kay sound spelling sound spelling cards so open court reading or OCR is a phonic based kindergarten to grade 3 curriculum it includes age appropriate materials for students training and pedagogy for student for teachers and workshop for professional development of teachers the open court reading curriculum includes three components the foundational skit reading and res reading and responding in language art a strong education is the starting point to lifelong success and achievement, providing the foundation of skills and knowledge that children need to succeed. Macmillan McGraw-Hill is helping to provide that foundation for achievement with their Treasures Reading Language Arts Program for Teachers. Macmillan McGraw-Hill's Treasures is based on the most recent reading research and is built on the five elements of reading as described by the National Reading Panel, phonemic awareness, phonics, vocabulary, fluency, and comprehension. In addition, in addition to providing authoritative guidance on what to teach, the Treasures program gives teachers best practice approaches for effective differentiated instruction, enabling them to meet the needs of students at all reading levels. And it provides a wealth of award-winning, engaging literature that's so important to motivating young readers. Treasures provides the explicit, systematic instruction and research-proven routines districts throughout the nation are looking for. When Cicero, Illinois, District 99, was approved to receive our Reading First grant worth over $1 million, we were given a choice of approved research-based core program. The options were set out for the classroom teachers to come and explore the components of the various programs. Macmillan McGraw-Hill's Treasures was chosen chosen by the teachers who were going to be utilizing it in their classrooms. They found it very user-friendly and appealing to the students. Macmillan McGraw-Hill, building brighter futures. So, and also, open court reading is a research-based and validated. So, open court reading is effective not only because it reinforces student learning through systematic, explicit instruction, but also because it Back by time tested research, our teacher informed research based strategies translate into undeniable results of every learner. <laughs>